This is iPhone 11, the next generation of iPhone, and it is jam-packed with great new capabilities and an incredible new design. Apple just announced the new iPhone 11. iPhone 11 has a beautiful anodized aluminum and glass design. And that glass, it's the toughest ever in a smartphone on the front and back iPhone 11 comes in six new colors with an all new purple, white, yellow, green, black, and product red. It has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display with true tone, wide color, tap to weight, and haptic touch in even more places with iOS 13, like contextual menus. One of the biggest new features, a new ultra wide camera. This is doing an optical zoom out 2X so you can capture way more without moving. The camera has some other cool new features too. You'll see our new immersive camera interface that lets you see outside the frame, hinting at a bigger shot. Then you can simply tap to switch to the ultra wide, revealing more of your scene. Let's talk about night mode. This is for those very low light environments, like outdoors at night or inside a dimly lit restaurant. And night mode comes on automatically when it's dark enough to brighten photos and reduce noise. Also on the front camera, we've added 4K video with extended dynamic range up to 30 frames per second. And you can also capture on the front at 4K 60 as well. And if you're into selfies. Now we've also added slow motion video to the front camera for the first time. The iPhone has a new processor, the A13 Bionic chip. The A13 is the fastest CPU ever in a smartphone. <laughs> iPhone 11 will have a battery that lasts an hour longer than the iPhone XR. The iPhone 11 starts at $699. But if you want something a little more powerful, Apple also debuted the new iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. It comes in two sizes. 5.8 inches and 6.5 inches. They have the highest pixel density of any display Apple makes. In addition to that, it has the spatial audio sound that Cayenne told you about. It has HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So we decide it's worthy of a new name. We call it the Super Retina XDR Display. Apple says the iPhone Pro will last four hours longer than the iPhone XS, with the Max model lasting five hours longer. We're also including our fast charge 18 watt adapter in the box so you can charge them all faster too. Both models come with three camera lenses on the back. With the telephoto camera and the ultra wide, you have the ability to zoom in two times and zoom out two times. That's a 4X optical zoom range. With these three cameras, you have incredible creative control. SVP Phil Schiller spotlighted a camera feature called Deep Fusion, coming to the phones later this fall. When you press the shutter button, it takes one long exposure. And then in just one second, the neural engine analyzes the fused combination of long and short images, picking the best among them, selecting all the pixels, and pixel by pixel, going through 24 million pixels to optimize for detail and low noise, like you see in the sweater there. It is computational photography mad science. Now let's talk about video. We actually paired the three cameras right at the factory, calibrating for color and exposure. So you can do things like edit a video for exposure, color temperature, even cropping and scaling right in the palm of your hands. You can shoot with multiple cameras at the same time, giving filmmakers even more options. So this is iPhone 11 Pro. In addition to the triple camera system, A13 Bionic, longer battery life, faster charging, new designs. There's also faster cellular, better water resistance, stronger glass, and so much more. We think this is the most exciting iPhone we've made yet. As for pricing and availability? So iPhone 11 Pro will start at $999, and iPhone 11 Pro Max at just $100 more at $1099. You can pre-order all of them starting this Friday. At a new time, 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, they'll all start shipping on September 20th. So this is our lineup of three new iPhones starting at $699, $999, and $1099.